So while other manufacturers such as OnePlus have already teased their own 5G phones, Samsung has beaten them all in the actual race to launch one, although the upcoming Galaxy S10 5G phone is still far from ready. While the standard S10 series mobiles are hitting stores on March the 8th, the Galaxy S10 5G apparently won't emerge until early summer, according to Samsung. Of course, 5G trials are only just hitting small pockets of the UK's biggest cities right now, with up to 16 cities expected to be partially covered by the end of 2019. So there's not exactly much call for a 5G ready handset just yet, at least in the UK, especially combined with that expensive 5G contract. Not unless you're on higher wages than the average Premier League footballer or just a bit of a Mr. Fancy Pants show off. All the same, Samsung did reveal the specs of its 5G handset, so here is what we know so far. Bear in mind, of course, that these could change before the actual launch later in 2019, and also bear in mind that the models shown here in this video are mostly the standard S10 mobiles, as that 5G model wasn't fully functional in our hands-on session. Boo. Now first up, this will be the biggest member of the S10 smartphone family, boasting a flipping huge 6.7 inch display, quite the jump even over the 6.4 inch S10 Plus. We guess that Samsung figures you'll probably be using that tasty 5G connectivity to stream lots of movies on the go, definitely pretty wise. Apart from that, the Galaxy S10 5G edition rocks the same dynamic AMOLED panel as the rest of the fam, complete with a stretched pinhole cutout for that dual selfie snapper. You can expect a crisp Quad HD Plus resolution to keep everything nice and sharp, and there is of course full HDR10 Plus support as well, which can adjust brightness levels on the fly to keep the colour reproduction accurate and really punchy and attractive. And towards the bottom of the screen, Samsung has embedded an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. This is a proper 3D scanner which can map out all of the individual little ridges on your thumb it makes it much much harder to fool with a 2d image and also much more accurate and responsive even if your finger is wet or a bit greasy this is of course complemented by facial recognition and in fact the galaxy s10 5g edition is the only model of the s10 family to sport a proper 3d depth sensing camera in the front that means we're hopeful that you're going to get some proper 3D facial recognition just like on Huawei's Mate 20 Pro, even though Samsung's official specs right now just say standard 2D face scanning. Android Pie is of course the OS of choice, with Samsung's own One UI slathered neatly on top. This adds all kind of bonus functionality, and you do get a plethora of the manufacturer's own apps to play with, or attempt to uninstall. As for the performance, the S10 5G should sport the same nippy chipset as the standard S10 handsets. So that fast connectivity should be matched by a smooth UI experience, helped along by the 8GB of RAM. And that mighty 4500mAh battery, the biggest found in the S10 family, means that the 5G model should keep going all day long, even if you're streaming video or hammering it with games. You get 25 watts wired charging and support for Samsung's fast wireless charging 2.0 as well. And that wireless power share feature is back in action from the S10, the S10 Plus and everything as well. So you can charge up other Qi standard devices simply by slapping them on the back of the S10 5G. Sexy times. And to complement that super fast 5G, Samsung has also thrown in full support for Wi-Fi 6. So you're pretty much guaranteed fast, reliable connectivity wherever you roam. As soon as 5G and Wi-Fi 6 are spread about the place, of course. On to the camera tech, and there really isn't much difference between the S10 5G and the S10 Plus here. You get the same triple lens hardware slapped on the back, including a 12 megapixel primary lens with dual pixel autofocus and Samsung's trademark dual aperture tech. You can also swap between the 16 megapixel ultra wide angle snapper and the 12 megapixel telephoto lens with optical image stabilization housed on both the primary and the telephoto shooters. The only real difference here is with the front camera camera. The primary lens hasn't changed, that's still a 10 megapixel shooter with dual pixel autofocus, but the simple depth sensor found on the S10 Plus has been replaced and upgraded on the 5G model with a proper 3D depth sensor lens, just like the time of flight snappers found on some rival handsets. But basically you can expect the camera app and features to remain the same on the Galaxy S10 5G compared with the rest of the S10 family, apart from potentially some more slightly advanced AR emoji gubbins to make use of that depth sensor. For a closer look at the S10 family camera tech, go check out my in-depth look at that, which is live right now. Stay tuned for a proper in-depth look at all that S10 shiny stuff once I get my hands on the review samples. And don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell to be the first to see the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers, everyone. Love you.